guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. So if you're a subscriber of mine, you may notice something a little bit different. I am using my new lens and I am so excited about it. I love that I can now zoom in if I have to and I just, I love it. So bear with me if future videos look different than this one. I'm still kind of adjusting it. I think I have it at a good setting, like with my camera and stuff. I didn't really have to adjust it too much, but I won't really know until I edit this video and kind of look at it and stuff. Um, so bear with me. And I know the background looks so empty now because usually you guys only see like the end of this table, but now it's like all of this space. So I may end up changing my background. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, so I'm so excited. Let me know what you guys think down below. So for today's video, I'm going to be testing out the Jaclyn Cosmetics Blurring Skin Tint. So I didn't end up getting the concealer because I honestly saw some pretty bad reviews on it. Not going to lie. It just, and it kind of turned me off. Plus, I wasn't really interested in it like I was the skin tint. I am not a skin tint person. I literally don't have one in my collection. I only have foundations. But this would be nice to have for those days where I want a little bit of coverage and just apply it really quick and be good to go. Um, so I figured I would try it out, see if I like the whole skin tint vibe. I am going to do a full wear test. Apply it, check in with you throughout the day. So yeah, if you guys want to see me test this out and do a full wear test, then just keep on watching. I literally just woke up an hour ago, so don't mind the hair. I am going to fix it after I apply the skin tint, but I want to get this um, wear test started as soon as possible. It's currently 11 o'clock and I wanted to get this started at like 8. So I'm running a little bit behind, but we're going to try it regardless. So I picked up the shade Fair Light. Now hopefully this matches me okay. It says, get sheer coverage that smooths, blurs, and enhances skin's appearance for an effortless, no makeup, makeup look with a natural finish. So far, the outer packaging, basic, just kind of like her other packaging, very pretty. And then this is what the component looks like. It looks super pretty, definitely fits with her aesthetic of her brand. Um, it is also an airless pump. So um, this is plastic. I feel like stuff that's usually airless pumps, the components are plastic, but that's not a bad thing. Um, but an airless pump is good because you'll use every last drop. I'm sure you guys have all heard all of this information already, but I just want to include it just in case you haven't. Um, but yeah, it's super pretty. I do really like the white and the rose gold. So I was looking on Ulta's website because that's where I ordered mine. Um, and I wanted to see if it said a certain way to apply this and if it said to apply a primer. Usually I use a primer just because it's out of habit. I like to have that barrier between my skin and like foundation. Um, but I want to see if this is actually blurring and if I use a primer, I won't be able to tell. So um, anyways, I was looking on the Ulta website to see how they say to apply it. And they say to use a medium synthetic brush or fingertips to melt um, the product into the skin. So I'm not a brush person or a fingertip person. <laughs> I usually just use a sponge. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try um, my fingertips on one side and sponge on the other and kind of see how it looks. I'm just going to try pumping it out. Actually, I'm going to zoom you guys in. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in pretty close. Hopefully you can see everything okay. Um, I don't know if you can. I'll have to look back on the footage. But as you can see, I do have some pores. I have some breakouts. My skin is actually feeling pretty dry. I woke up this morning with flakes all over my skin, which is not like me. I'm combination oily skin, more on the oily side. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's the weather, but my skin was just so dry this morning. So I did go ahead and apply a moisturizer after I cleansed my skin. And I did two layers of this because I felt like one wasn't enough. That's how dry my skin feels right now. This is the Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. Not really loving this. I'm just kind of using it to get rid of it, honestly. Um, but if you have dry skin, I wouldn't recommend this because I feel like it's done nothing for my skin. But anyway, so that's what I use for a moisturizer. Now let's go ahead and give this a try. So I'm going to start with using my fingers first. It's definitely more on the thicker side. Okay. Um, hold on. I think I did too much. I'm going to put some over on this side. I'm literally, see, this is why I don't use my fingers. I look like a child playing in paint right now. I literally don't know what I'm doing. I definitely pumped out too much. That was one pump. Okay, that looks terrible on my skin. What is going on? Why is it doing that? Okay, once I tapped it in, I feel like it looks a little bit better. But 
I'm gonna go ahead and try my sponge on this side and see what happens. You definitely need something that can rub the product in because I've noticed like pouncing like this, it's not really doing anything. So you definitely need something that you're gonna like have to rub. So I guess that would make sense why they say to use your fingertips or a brush. I don't know if you guys can see like right here. This is not blending. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and try blending this with a brush. I do not like using my fingers, I'm not gonna lie. And that sponge was not working for me. So I'm just gonna go over everything I just applied and try blending it a little bit more and then see what it looks like. It definitely looks better with a brush, but there's still some areas where it's like really clinging. It looks good on my chin, minus the fact that it's not really covering this, but it is a skin tint. It's not meant to like cover acne. <laughs> it's more just to kind of even out the skin tone. It looks good on my chin though. So let me try like another layer. I don't know if maybe like I let it sit too long on this side or what the case is, but I'm just gonna try another layer. It's like really clinging to my dry patches and I almost wanna take it off and up like find a moisturizer that's like very hydrating and see if that helps. Cause I honestly think that this moisturizer didn't do anything for my skin and that's why I'm having a problem. But I'm gonna try applying it on my nose and kind of see what it looks like because it's not that bad but i notice it and it's bothering me but my nose i do notice some dry spots so let's see how it looks on here i feel like the light is too bright to show you guys but this is what my nose looks like right now and my cheeks and i feel like it's so patchy not patchy but like clean in my dry spots okay so i made the decision that i'm gonna remove this and retry and I'm gonna find a moisturizer that's like very hydrating and see if that helps. Okay, so I just found a little sample of this La Roche Posay um, Double Repair Face Moisturizer. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this. And then if I feel like my skin's not hydrated enough, I do have this Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist that I haven't tried yet. So let me go ahead and apply this moisturizer. So my skin definitely feels a lot more hydrated than before, but I'm still gonna go ahead and add this hydrating milky mist from Pixi. Now I'm hoping I still get oily at the end of the day like I normally would because I would love to see how this wears on skin that I normally have. I'm never dry. I don't know what's going on with my skin right now. So we did find that a brush works best, so I'm just gonna stick to using a brush. I did two pumps, which is probably way too much. I kind of just went a little overboard. Going back in with that brush, I'm using the Luxie uh 532 round top blender brush i'm gonna do one side so we can kind of see the difference in coverage so here's the before and after nothing crazy but you can definitely tell it's more even i'm gonna look at it up close now and see how those dry spots look definitely a lot better than before there's still some spots that are like is kind of clinging. This I can wear out. The way it was looking before, no ma'am. But this is definitely looking a lot better. I'm gonna add just a second layer just to kind of see how much we can build. But honestly, I'd probably stick to just that one layer on like a day-to-day -day basis, basis if I just want like a little bit of coverage. But I'm just gonna use whatever's left on my hand. So while I'm kind of blending this out, I will go over the product details a little bit. So there are... 12 shades on the Ulta website. I don't know if she has more than that. I think it is just 12 and it retails for $34. Now, as far as the shade range, I definitely think she could have done a little bit better. Honestly, um, I know it's just a skin tint and it's not supposed to give like a ton of coverage. Therefore, you don't really need a ton of shades. But like there's other brands out there that have like a bunch of shades just for skin tints. So I definitely think she could have done better. Yes, 12 is better than like five shades that like drugstores tend to do, but I definitely think it could have been a little bit better. And then the price, $34. For me, it's a little pricey for what it is. But then again, like a lot of her products run towards that like kind of price range, so I'm really not too, too surprised. Still clinging to just all this dryness right here. Now I would just leave this and just kind of stay home, but I do have to go grocery shopping. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do about this situation yet. I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm taking this off again, because it's not looking good. 
at all. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try this one more time and if it doesn't work, then I'm just gonna call it and just not do this and just have it be like a first impressions. But I am going to go in with the moisturizer again, the La Roche Posay one, the hydrating milky mist, and then I also have a Too Faced Hangover RX primer that's really, really hydrating. And I'm gonna apply that and see if that will help. And just a little time check-in on how long it's been taking me. It's currently 12.02, so I think our skin is nice and hydrated now. It's looking better. Third time's a charm, I guess. Now this is more wearable. This I can do. I'm not gonna do another layer cause I feel like it's just gonna make it look worse. I'm just gonna kind of leave it where it's at. But this I can work with. See the dryness all right here. But it's better than what it was. It looked a lot worse before so I definitely think the primer helped. Like I said earlier, I'm definitely gonna have to try this again when my skin gets back to normal. I honestly don't know why my skin is so dry. I don't know what I did differently, um, but as far as right now and the way my skin looks right now, I am not loving this. So if you have dry skin, I honestly wouldn't recommend this unless you have like a really super duper hydrating moisturizer because it's just, it clings to dry skin like crazy. Um, but once I do try this again, when my skin is more combo oily like it usually is, I will keep you guys posted on my thoughts. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup. I'll let you guys know how everything else blended on top and that sort of stuff. And then we will go ahead and get started with the wear test. Okay, so I'm back with my makeup done. I did something super, super natural. I only did concealer, powder, bronzer, blush, highlight, brows, and mascara because I'm only running errands today, so I didn't do anything too, too crazy. Uh, but so far, so good. I didn't have any issues with the products blending on top. I was just looking at it up close to see how the dry spots were because I was nervous the powder would accentuate it, and it actually looks better. Now, I don't know if it's because of the powder or because it's been sitting a little bit. I'll try to do a close-up so you guys can see. All right, so this is what my skin is looking like right now. You can see like, some of the dry spots on my nose, but they're not as accentuated as they were earlier. I didn't use a setting spray because I want to see how long this product lasts on its own. I usually do use one because I like to be able to touch my face and not worry about my makeup coming off. This product doesn't claim to be long wearing, but I just want to see how it would look if I just put it on really quick and head out the door sort of thing and not have time to use a setting spray. And also for any of you out there that just prefer not to use a setting spray, hopefully this will help kind of give you an idea of what it would look like if you didn't use one. So the check-in time right now is 1.25. It's a little bit later than I wanted, but we ran into some issues, so it delayed us a little bit but I'm gonna leave this on for as long as possible and I will be back in a few hours to show you guys how it looks alrighty I am back for another check-in it's currently 528 hopefully you can see that probably not um, but yeah it's 528 and my skin looks really good I actually like the way it looks better now than I did earlier because my dry spots are gone um, because as you can see I've gotten a little bit oily, so the oils kind of helped those dry spots a little bit. So as I was running errands, um, I was thinking about how I could use this product every day. So obviously today, my face was way drier than it usually is. As I mentioned earlier, I have combination to oily skin. So sometimes I do have some dry patches, not nearly as bad as it was today, but I will get like some dry patches like right here on my nose. And that's pretty much it. Today I had it in between my eyebrows, above my eyebrow, my cheek, my nose. It was bad. Today was a very abnormal day. But usually I just have some dry patches around my nose, like right in here. But I also get oily there too. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this product work for me. Because I want to be able to use this on its own without a primer or use this as a primer. And I don't think I can do that if it's going to accentuate my dry spots, if that makes sense. So I could use this on days where I don't notice those dry spots on my nose, but I would like to be able to just put a product on and not have to worry about those dry spots. I am loving the way it looks right now. It looks like skin. You can't really tell I'm wearing any makeup. And I really like it. I just wish it looked like this when I first applied it. Maybe not as oily, but looked more skin like when I first applied it. I feel like my blush and my bronzer still look really good. Nothing's faded. My highlight looks good. I did kind of wipe my nose a little bit earlier because it was running, but I don't see anything 
rubbed off, which is nice about a skin tint because usually if it rubs off a little bit, you don't notice it because it's not full coverage. But so yeah, I will see you guys in a few more hours for the last check-in. Okay, so I am back for my last and final check-in. It's currently 9.04. And I am so tired and ready to take my makeup off. I was just looking at it up close and it's definitely starting to separate on my upper lip. Everywhere else it still looks pretty good. I feel like everything held up pretty well. I am definitely going to have to give this a try again. Maybe try it under foundation. Maybe try when my skin isn't as dry. Just a bunch of different ways to try to get this to work. Otherwise, I'm most likely going to return it because I don't absolutely love it. When I first applied it, I was not a huge fan of the way it looked. It takes a while to really melt into the skin and become one with the skin really. It's supposed to be like a like a no makeup makeup where it just kind of melts into the skin and looks like you're not wearing makeup. And when you first apply this, it looks like you're wearing makeup. So I don't really understand that I guess. After an hour or two it did sort of like absorb, not absorb, but like kind of become one with the skin and look more skin like but still it's like it took an hour for that to happen. That should happen right away especially if it's one of the claims. Another one of the claims is that this is blurring and I did not see any blurring especially when I first applied it with the dry patches and stuff there was no blurring factor at all. After an hour, maybe a little bit, but I honestly feel like it's because my oil started to peek through and that's what kind of like made everything smooth. I'm definitely going to give it a few more tries and if it ends up not working, I'm definitely going to have to return it because this was not cheap. If it was cheaper, I'd probably hold on to it and make it work, but... $34, that's not cheap. So yeah, that completes today's video. I hope it was as helpful as possible and that you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to let me know in the comments down below and give this video a big thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.